Hi, I'm Morgan McMahon. And I'm Cole Puckett. And this is Sturgeon City News. You're about to see a video of what the Young Leaders Institute, science institutes such as biomed, engineering, and general science, and media makers have been up to. So let's take a look. The strategies that we applied to make it work and what we can do going forward. So what's your name? Amber Dobbins. And uh, how long have you been doing Thursday City? Oh wow. Um, I was in the Institute. I started in 2006 being a part of the institutes, and then when I graduated high school um, is when I became a counselor. So I've been I've been a counselor for about, this is my fourth year, I think. Fourth year? Yeah. Okay. And uh, what school do you go to right now? NC State. NC State? Okay, and how has uh, Sturgeon City impacted you socially, I mean, socially as well as uh, academically? In so many ways. Um, socially, I'd say I was able, when I was in the institutes, to find a lot of different friends from different high schools in Onslow County. So that was pretty fun. Um, and academically, it gave me another um, outlet other than being in class, you know, all day. To find things outside of the classroom and still learn, so it was pretty. It was pretty cool. <laughs> and what is your name? Greg Gibson. And what school do you go to? White Oak High School. White Oak High School. Mm -hmm. And uh, what year are you? I'm a rising sophomore. Okay. And uh, how long have you been doing Sturgis City? This is my first year here. Okay. What do you hope to accomplish by the end of this week? Um, just to have a lot of fun and trying to improve like my leadership qualities that I already have and trying to go back and improve my school, but just mainly having fun. What are you guys doing? Um, I really like engineering. I want to be an engineer when I grow up. I don't know, I just really, I enjoy creating things. Well, we're laser etching right now, so I'm probably going to etch something into my wallet. How did you hear about Surgeon City Institutes? Uh, I was told by one of my teachers who works at Sturgeon City, uh, Mr. Thomas. I hope to have fun. Uh, I've already been having fun, so I guess it's working out. I'm Ariel Christian. I did it last year, and it was a lot of fun to do, and I meet a lot of great people. I definitely want to canoe again. That's always my favorite thing to do throughout Sturgeon City. We get wet and we clean up trash. It's really fun. How did you hear about Sturgeon City Institutes? I started back when I was in middle school. So at Newbridge, they talked about it a lot. So I decided to check it out. Like in hot lava was the best. I didn't have to walk. They just carried me across it. That looked like a lot of fun, didn't it? It did. Here, we see the biomedical group taking a tour of Sturgeon City, where they learned about cells, organisms, dissections of frogs, fish, and other animals. Yeah. 
You do that and you put the right Then and here's an interview with Cassie Redmeyer. Can you tell us what Sturgeon City is? Sturgeon City is a civic and environmental education center. We operate out of the footprint of the old Jacksonville um, wastewater treatment facility. We're classified as a Brownsville development. A Brownsville development is a contaminated site that's, that's used for adaptive reuse. So basically we're taking all of the structures here and we're retrofitting them into a new facility. That's what we're in the process of doing right now. And uh, in about a year or so, we should be having a, a new building here on site, a 13,000 square foot facility that will help us serve more kids here in Onslow County and surrounding counties to provide hands-on science programs, which is essentially what we do. Can you tell us what do you like best about our city? That's easy. Um, seeing the seeing the light bulb go on with kids, get seeing them get really excited about science and what they're doing here. That's the best part, makes everything worth it. All of the hard work is to see kids getting excited about science. Um, why is it important for the surgeons to come back? Sturgeon are bottom feeders, and uh, when the wastewater treatment facility was decommissioned in 1998, there was a huge thick layer of sludge on the bottom, and it made it impossible for bottom feeders to survive here in Wilson Bay and the New River. So by the sturgeon coming back, that means our water quality is good, and particularly the seabed. So that's why it's important that the sturgeon come back. Thank you. My name is Tony Matalasso, and I am the store manager for this store. What are some benefits that some students, like high school students, could uh, to gain from uh, uh, volunteering here? Well, one of the things that you'll get uh, is um, um, for future job placement and so forth, you're learning the retail business uh, from the end uh, of different areas. So it's going to be two and two, and they're both in this room. So what wants to do? Well, I would definitely, if someone was a good worker, a good volunteer, I would definitely be more than happy to, uh, you know, tell your future employer uh, what a good worker you are. On Tuesday, the students went to the Intercoastal Waterway and the beach to conduct some experiments. Let's take a look. Areas is they're actually looking for bivalve, which is their favorite food source. Whereas your sand dollars, spread your feet like further apart. You're not going very deep. Deep. You want to know how deep? No, no. That's it. Okay. So you have to compare it to whatever color is the closest on there. The water. Yeah. Have you found anything yet? What's your name? Andrew. Andrew. Last name? Matos. Okay. Uh, what, are you doing, what are you guys doing out here today? We are checking the water quality and we're also catching some fish. And before we were looking at plants and trying to identify them and find them. Yeah. I know. I know. I I don't know. Let's take a look at what the other institutes are doing inside the classroom. It's kind of firm, it feels kind of plasticky, but um, they're fake lungs you guys. Yeah, it's pretend like it's plastic. In the yeah. uh, in the actual right. organism, it would be more squishy. It would be softer, actually, the tissue would be. Now notice there's a whole lot of fat and tissue kind of holds it all together. 
Um, around here on the other side, you have the heart. So this is called the plus. The plus. Yeah, um, because it is the heart and the lungs all attached to one another. Gosh, you can't smell anything um, now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can smell anything. So when you guys kind of get started, you can um, very carefully kind of cut away the heart from the lungs, and then you have two separate things to dissect. For, that's why I put this down here with all the um, As you work. So, uh, what type, what do you have? Cow heart. Uh, kidney. Kidney. You guys have the brain? Pluck is, um, what the lung and heart combination is. Okay, that's the eye of a cow? Yeah. Got it? Got it. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Your heart. Yeah. I'm going to steal this cow. Alright, guys, now we get a plan for That was a pretty cool look at what the institutes were doing so far this week. Indeed it was. I'm Morgan McMahon. And I'm Cole Puckett. And this was your Sturgeon City News. Make sure to tune in next time.